What's up everyone? Today I wanted to make a review video on my brand new 2020 Native Watercraft Titan 10.5. I just got this thing today, just got it off the water, and it is sick. I wanted to make a review video and highlight some of the features that I really like, and I wanted to show you guys some of the cool features that they've included on this model for this year. Basically, I'm going to break the boat down from the bow to the stern, if you guys can follow along here, and I'm going to highlight some of the features that I really like and some of the features that are on this boat that make it awesome. So starting at the front of the boat, we have the dry storage compartment. This is where I keep my Chinook NRS life vest and my Yak Attack landing leverage net. Plenty of room for some extra stuff in here. I don't know what else more you guys would want to maybe put in food here, but there is a good amount of room up here in front and you definitely have a lot of room for storage. So I really like that. And it's truly a dry storage when you lock it, lid back on, there's definitely no water getting in this bad boy. At the front of the boat, we also have the rod tip covers for your rod storage. You slide the rod tips up in there and they're really protected. And then at the back down here, we have the secure for the butt of the rod. You guys can lock your rod in place, that way it's nice and secure. The butt is adjustable, so you can slide it to wherever you want for smaller or longer rods, which makes it really nice. The seat on this thing is super comfortable. It has two positionings, a lower setting and a, up, and a higher setting. I pretty much keep it on the upper setting just because I like being up high but all in all, you can adjust it to be lower if you don't want to be up that high. It's hand sewn in the USA, super comfortable and durable. Moving on to the middle of the boat, we have obviously the gear tracks on the side of the kayak. I've already added some of my favorite Yak Attack products, the Roto Grip, the Roto Paddle Grip, which is awesome to have to keep your paddle on here. Although this kayak has a pedal drive and I probably won't be using a paddle, it's still nice to have just in case you ever need to get on and off the boat to help yourself balance or give yourself that push off the ledge so that you can start and then lower your drive into the water. So having the roto grips are really nice. They definitely uh, make having a paddle easy to access. On the other side of the boat, in the other gear track, we have the Yak Attack rod holder. Probably we'll just use this to help keep an extra rod if I'm ever trolling and I just want to troll like a rattle trap or something behind the boat or maybe just drag a Senko or something behind the boat. This is probably where I keep that in this rod holder. The back of the boat has a very large square stern, as you guys can see. Plenty of room for storage, like your Yak Attack black box. You can keep all of your stuff inside of it. It has additional rod tubes on the side, so you guys can keep an extra couple rods inside of it. And you have plenty of storage in here for maybe uh, you know a couple soft plastics, cooler. The Yak Attack black box is my favorite accessory that Yak Attack makes. Located at the front of the boat and back of the boat are the carry handles. Carry handles seem very sturdy and strong enough to support the weight of the kayak. Under the seat, there's plenty of storage. I stack my tackle trays in here. They're super easy to access. That way, if I need to make a quick change in my lure, I can do so. On your left side of the boat is your steering for the rudder. Testing this thing out today, I realized that the boat turns pretty quick. Simply turn it to the right, you'll go right. Turn it to the left, you'll go left. So this is the new Propel Drive from Native. It has a couple new features that are really cool. The pedals are wider and they have that BMX style that basically make it a lot easier to pedal. The new pedals also have optional traction pads that you can add or take away. I think they're designed to have one side with and one side without, that way in case you want to go barefoot. But I went ahead and put them on both sides just because I know I'm not going to be kayaking barefoot. Another cool feature about this system is the propeller index guide that allows you to make sure the propeller is aligned so that you can remove the drive with ease. The new propeller also comes with a weed guard, which is really nice so this makes it weedless while you're paddling. You cannot get weeds around wrapped around the propeller. That was one of the features that sold me on getting the boat. The stability of this boat is awesome. I stood up in it with ease. I was rocking it back and forth and I felt very secure even holding my really expensive camera. There's even enough room on the front of the boat to launch the drone which is super convenient for me because I'm always flying my drone when I'm fishing getting epic b-roll shots of the landscape. So that was really cool that I could launch the drone from there. Stand up in it, feel secure and not have to worry about flipping over. So those are some of the key features of the 2020 Titan 10.5. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am new to the native watercraft uh, family, so there might have been some features that I didn't really highlight or I don't really know about. Maybe you guys can drop a comment if you guys know something I didn't really highlight. If you guys like the video, please give me a sub. It means a lot. 
Uh, I'm probably going to be doing a lot more fishing videos out of this thing now. I got some GoPro mounts coming from Yak Attack. I just put an order for those. So that'll be cool to add to the gear tracks as well around the boat. And yeah, I'm going to be doing some fishing. So if you guys like that kind of stuff, give me a sub. And I probably will be doing some more review videos as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will catch you guys out on the water.